Okay, good to go. Okay, good evening. I'm going to call the meeting to order. This is a uh, regular session of the mayor's uh, mayor and council of the city of Bisbee County for Chief State of Arizona. It's being held on Tuesday, July 2nd, 2024, at 7 p.m. Our council chambers. Roll call, please. Councilmember Juanetta Hill. Yeah. Councilmember Pete Skinner. Present. Councilmember Frank Davis is excused. Mayor Ken Budge. Here. Councilmember Leslie Johns. Here. Councilmember Mal Sweet. Here. Mayor Pro Tem Manicline. Here. City Staff Stephen Pockin, City Manager Ashley Coronado, City Clerk Carrie Bagley, Finance Director Matthew Gurney, Public Works Director uh, Jay Ritchie, Deputy Police Chief Jim Richardson, Fire Chief. Thank you. Um, for a moment of silence, we'll have a minute of personal reflection and then we'll say the Pledge of Allegiance. We can stand. Of the United States of America and, and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and to this level with liberty and justice for all. Uh, for a little announcement, I just want to wish everybody a great Fourth of July. Hopefully, the weather will cooperate and we will. Um, hopefully the weather will cooperate and we'll have a good set of fireworks. Uh, just to let you know, uh, the one reason we're not having some water slides in Vista Park is due to insurance situations. It, uh, our insurance company absolutely says they will not cover them. And to go out and buy a one day permit was over $6,500 elsewhere. So that kind of put a kibosh to them. It's not anything to do with us. But um, we have arranged to have some kiddie pools with some water in it. So if you would like to let your kids bring their squirt guns and fill them up, we'll have water available for that purpose. And um, the fire department, they're going to show up on July, between 3 and 4 o'clock. As long as we're not on a fire. Yeah, as long as no small fire. Between three and four, and they'll do the, 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 their fire thing. So we're, you know, don't camp out where they're going to spray water. You might get wet yourself. But but anyway, so we will bring out back some of the old traditions. I just wanted to add that uh, at, at four o'clock when the fire department's done, um, everybody's invited to go up Cole Avenue to have a water fight. At the Swade's house. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. They're ready. They're ready. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, God, I've had it 10 names. You know, I'm going to shoot you a hose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Steve. No, so, so it should be a good fourth. Uh, the, uh, also, that the uh, pool is uh, free that day. So, uh, if you want to go up and enjoy the pool for a little bit for no cost, that would be. Uh, Another way to enjoy some water in that day. So, all right. Uh, there, we have nothing uh, signed up for call of the public, so we'll move right on into agenda uh, general business. So, the first order, of course, is accounts payable. A motion. I move that we pay accounts payable in the amount of $598,360.38. Second. We have a motion to second. Questions on accounts payable this time. One. Seeing none, we have a motion and a second to approve accounts payable in amount of five hundred ninety-eight thousand three hundred sixty dollars and thirty-eight cents. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. We'll move on to the consent agenda. Uh, we have items A through G. So the first two items are just approval of some minutes. That's items A and B. C is an approval appointment of Joni uh, Giacomino to the Evergreen Cemetery Committee. B uh, is a approval of the park and facility right away use permit for Boys and Girls Club 
over there, cars and bikes on Arizona Street for Saturday, August 31st. E is the approval of park and facility right away use permit for the ninth annual Mariachi Festival, um, just for some dumpsters and parking spaces. That will be held on November the second. And the last two are for special event liquor licenses. One at the Pitkin Castle on Friday, August 9th, and another one on November the second. That's for the wall and ballpark. Um, again for Mario and Festival. So anybody have any of the say no, I'll take a motion for items A through G. I move to approve the consent agenda items A through G. A second. Got a motion second to approve the consent agenda as listed items A through G. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Very none. The ayes have it. So move. Uh, we have no old business. So we're moving right into our huge new business. <laughs> One item. This is item three. This is discussion of possible approval of a pre construction service contract for Camp Marco. With Grazo Construction. Yes, correct. If you think you look serious about getting done, so you might want to get me. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Norman, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, good evening. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is uh, Grazo Construction, um, and I will try to keep it brief. Uh, so, this is uh, for the selection of the contractor that will uh, be responsible for the rehabilitation of the urban buildings. Uh, it was a qualifications-based uh, selection and procurement. Uh, we specifically were looking for contractors that had experience with historic structures and adobe buildings and had worked within the requirements of the State Historic Preservation Office. So uh, we had originally we had four contractors that expressed interest in the project and came to our pre-construction meetings out on the site. Uh, but the Durazo proposal was the only proposal we, we received. And one of the four uh, contractors that came out at previous meetings uh, partnered with Durazo on this. And that was uh, Randy Oden, who uh, also has a lot of experience in historic preservation and will be uh, acting as a historic preservation consultant to Durazo. And uh, Randy Oden had also done a lot of the work out in Kentonville previously. When they had done some, when they had done the asbestos remediation and some of the um, emergency stabilization repairs out there about ten years ago, so uh, we still did our due diligence, even though we had one proposal. Uh, we reviewed the evaluation, we conducted an interview with the Garazzo team, checked references, uh, checked with the uh, uh, Arizona Registrar of Contractors, make sure their license is well good. And everything checks out. Uh, they got very good references. They've also worked with our architect, uh, Poster Murka McDonald, on several historic preservation projects. Uh, if you know, only getting one proposal, this was the team to get the proposal from. So we're very happy with their proposal, their qualifications. Uh, what we have before us tonight is the pre-construction services contract. This is basically working with the design team as they complete the process for renovating the design of the buildings. And this is to provide cost estimating at the various stages of design, also a constructability review. And we're also going to have them look at um, some of the existing conditions on the site to determine if there's any emergency stabilization that we need to do uh, to make sure we don't have any uh, problems prior to starting uh, work on the buildings. So this is phase one. This is for the uh, pre-construction services, the cost estimating. Uh, the amount is $24,760. At the end of this phase, uh, Durazo will put together a guaranteed maximum price construction contract that we'll come back to council with. And that will be for the actual construction to renovate the buildings. Is this anticipated for what, how many months? Uh, this is to, uh, on our schedule, this takes us uh, through December. So we're anticipating having, having the guaranteed maximum price proposal by the end of December. So seven months ago, I was just giving some leeway. Yeah, it, it does. Okay. We well, you know how construction goes. Yeah. <laughs> City Hall. Okay. Any questions? Right. 
Uh, I, I have a question, just uh, clarification on this. So they are going to do the pre-construction estimates and the design and all the stated um, issues here. My question, will this bind us into going exclusively with them or this is uh, basically, it's, I mean, once they do all of this, the pre-construction and they come up, uh, are we buying to, I, I didn't have the chance to be honest with you to read it. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, uh, I understand the question. Yes. Um, most of us are. Yeah. Um, no, it does not. Okay. Uh, basically, like I said, it's a two-part process. Okay. So if we get to the end of the pre-construction part and say the guaranteed maximum price exceeds our budget, yes. or for some reason um, it's not going to work with this contractor, we would have an option to re-procure um, another. We could go back out, try to get other proposals, or uh, put it out for bid. Uh, the reason we didn't go with the traditional um, Bid yes. approach is be because of the qualifications needed for the sort of Yeah, and, that, and, and basically answer my with that second part in so that uh, the question. Uh, so basically, uh, just so everyone will understand, can we utilize these services since we're spending some money to utilize with a different con uh, with these will own whatever they I mean becomes uh, ours. Uh, the, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, well. Then, um, no, they they won't. It won't be. Uh, they won't own the design. So okay. the architect, uh, Poston Marco McDonald, is under contract. He was okay. So they are going to be working with the architect. Okay. So all the design work and that is still um, within our our ownership, our purview. Okay. Uh, the we have a separate contract. Okay. Good. Okay. Thanks. We just just in a nutshell. You know, with all these professionals that we've had to bring in, and probably a few more that we haven't yet, you know, uh, we will own everything. Okay, that's another of those contracts. Okay, sounds good. Anything else? And just to clarify, this will be reimbursable to the the grants from Mellon. Yes, yes. This one, uh, yeah. Actually, we're splitting the cost here um, based on the. All the grants are structured, but it's going to be reimbursed by both Mellon and the state. There's budget for both those grants for the service. Okay. Nothing else? I'll entertain a motion. I move to approve the pre construction services contract for Camp Naco to DeRazo Construction in the amount of $24,760. I second that. I have a motion and second to approve the pre construction service agreement for Cam Naco. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Hearing none, the ayes have it. So moved. Thank you very much. Thank you. Keep up the good work. And last one, city manager's report. I just want to wish everybody a wonderful and safe independence day. Yeah. See you. See you. Fire is slow and spirits hot. <laughs> With that, I'll, entail, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. I have a motion and second to adjourn. All those in favor, say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Well, it wasn't three, and I'll make it was pretty quick.